I'm actually quite disappointed in myself at the moment. And this disappointment comes from some of my actions and also having this unobtainable goal every single time. And it's not a bad thing to have endless goals, but sometimes it's important to really sit back and smell your roses. And I'm always trying to be better, do better, go farther, expand, and just push myself to be the best version of myself. And it's a never ending cycle, essentially. And on the other side, I told myself at the very beginning of this year, I was gonna really stop drinking. I haven't drank too much, but I still drink sometimes. And I don't feel like my body has actually gotten the proper rest from drinking and been in a state where there's no alcohol in my system at all, like fully recovered. They say it takes about two weeks and it's usually about a week to two weeks I have a drink. And that kind of makes me a little frustrated with myself because I know what I should be doing and I'm partially doing it, but I'm not doing it fully. And then it kind of goes back into like, wow, you're not standing on what you say you're gonna do. And then I get frustrated. Now I'm doing a lot of other things for my health. And I wanna to continue to do more because I wanna be healthy and I wanna feel good and I wanna go farther and I have clean energy and I wanna have a clean mind and I wanna be focused and I wanna be motivated every second of the day. I don't wanna wake up with hangovers. I don't wanna feel bad. And I know that's a lot, but again, this goes into my thought process of, I did 12 deals my first year. I wanna do 25 my second year. And if I went back to when I very first started, the day one agent would have been like, you're crazy. And now, my goals are not crazy because I just want to continue to pass them. But on day one, my goal was to make $30,000 with $100,000 in knowledge my first year. I did that. On day one, my year two goal was to make $60,000 with $200,000 of knowledge. I'm there. So for me being disappointed in myself, I think it's because I'm wired to just win and win and win and win. Like growing up, we really couldn't lose. So I've always wanted to win. I've always wanted to push myself to be better and go farther and just be bigger and better than what I am today. And it's never ending cycle. It's never going to end because you can always be a better human being, not even just financially, but mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, and physically. Physically is huge. And people overlook that. And I overlooked it for a long time, but now I'm trying to, you know, redo all of my mistakes because now I'm getting older and I start to realize that health is really important. Health and time is the only thing you can never get back. You damage your health, it's very hard to return back to where a normal human should be. You can never get your time back, but you can always get money back. You mess up spiritually, you can always come back and reground yourself and figure out what you believe in and who you are. So I guess I'm disappointed in myself for not obtaining a level of excellence in all the other categories of life, but I'm working on it. And this is why I document everything because I think it's important for me to say like, I'm disappointed in myself for not standing on what I believe in because I'm not a robot. I'm not just gonna do everything I say 24 seven. I try, I really do, and I'm still trying. But I mean, as humans, I think that's all we can do is try. But it's important to trust yourself. And yeah, I know I'm disappointed in myself, but I still trust myself and I still show up every single day. And I know where to get better because realistically, life is about one third of the time great, one third of the time shitty, and one third of the time decent. I wouldn't even say this is a shitty time right now. This is more of a decent time, but it's just more of self-reflection on what I need to do better because at the beginning of the year, I promised myself things that I'm not doing and I promised my things that I am doing. It's not, I'm gonna do some and then the rest are just whatever. It's, we need to do them all.